In the spirit of reconciliation, Calgary Basement Sessions acknowledges that we live, work, and play on the traditional territories of the Blackfoot Confederacy, Siksika, Kainai, Pakani, the Tsutina, the Stony Nakoda Nations, the Métis Nation, Region 3, and all people who make their homes in the Treaty 7 region of Southern Alberta. Hey, welcome to Calgary Basement Sessions. I'm Ben Price. And I'm Ben Montgomery. And today we're talking to Esteban and Gisela. Gisela Romero is a versatile Latin singer with a strong love for traditional Mexican music. Esteban Herrera is a pianist, composer, arranger, producer, and music director originally from Mexico, now residing in Calgary, Alberta. Together, they make up a powerhouse Latin music duo. Gisela is no stranger to live entertainment. As one of the co-owners of Joker Entertainment in Calgary, she helped produce over 26 events with some of the most influential Latin Grammy award-winning artists from all over Latin America, the Caribbean, and Spain. Esteban is no different. With over 25 years of experience in the entertainment industry, Esteban has played with some of the best minds in jazz all over the world. Canada, United States, Germany, France, Mexico, Spain, Italy, and Latin America, to name a few. Bringing their love of Latin music, their decades of experience in the entertainment industry, and their many accolades together, Esteban and Gisela make up one of Calgary's top Latin groups. Be sure to listen to Esteban's latest album wherever you stream your music. Thank you very much for being here. Hello. <laughs> thank you for having us, guys. Oh, thank it's you very pleasure. much. Thank you. Well, it's, it's an honor. It really thank is. Thank you. There's many of us, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, there is. Honestly, many yeah. Many Mexicans like, all over the place. <laughs> we've, we've been, I've been to Mexico. You've, you've been to Mexico as well. We went together. We went together. <laughs> there you we go. We went together to uh, the Palace Resort. We did. <gasps> oh, it was beautiful. In, oh. in Cancun? Cancun. Yeah, I oh. lived there for uh, three years. Three years? Wow. Yeah. At wow. the resort? Uh, not not at the resort, <laughs> but I was playing God, always oh, all around. Gosh. Yeah, beautiful place. Oh beautiful. my God! Yeah. We saw some great musicians uh, at the at the resort when we were. We saw a really yeah. awesome jazz group. We did yeah. a jazz trio. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, yeah. so what I think what they do is with their musicians and their entertainment, they just they hire like a, a band and then they just sort of go like tour around all the resorts and all stuff the like that. yeah Sweet in fact egg. i was hired by uh, the palace resorts no way and, nice. yeah they have like 10 different hotels That's in right. all the uh, riviera and maya mm-hmm. and cancun yeah. and i used to play all around oh, yeah those with awesome. my, my cousin who is a trumpet player no way we, awesome. we lived there for three years more or less oh, yes wow. <laughs> wow were you living there just because of that contract or no no in fact i got that contract while I was already there. Gotcha. But, okay. you know, I arrived there because I, I knew that there's a lot of, uh, like, tourists happening there. Mm-hmm. And uh, for Mexico in general, it's a good opportunity mm-hmm. to, to try that kind of uh, destination. Great gig, moving from hotel oh. to hotel. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. Playing and playing every night. Awesome. Yeah. And the food. Oh. The food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because everything is included. You yeah. and I, yeah. same right. way. <laughs> I could care less food. about the show, but <laughs> that, food. that food that I get to eat every night the food makes gosh, it worth it. The food was spectacular. Yeah. The, the, our, our favorite place was the Japanese restaurant. It was. In that hotel. Oh, it was stunning. Good stuff. Stunning food. But yeah. food 24-7. Oh, yeah. We were there for eight, nine days. So fat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. I think it's similar to, to cruises, right? As exactly. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, yeah. Food when you want it, whenever. When best quality food as yeah well. the best quality food yeah mm. the beaches were beautiful. beautiful i love that place we want to go back so badly we do yeah so well, badly honestly uh, it has nothing to do with the rest of mexico and of course with experience of uh, real mexico it's different beautiful though mm-hmm. but uh, we have different uh, everything like different people different places different Clim- climates, everything you know, and uh, the the economy, uh, the corruption, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> the sure. government, Fair enough. the you know the drug dealers, we have uh, everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just like back home, like back in Scotland. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's why you're here now. That's why I'm here now. What yeah. brought yeah. you to Calgary? Thank oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying she did. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. No. Oh, to me, well, it was a uh, you know. 
uh, probably what most of us of most of us immigrants look for like to give up to look for a better future for our families mm -hmm. in my case i have a daughter so you know she was like our main inspiration to move here Fantastic. Like, definitely to Fantastic. seek for a better life for everybody and of course better opportunities for her yeah. awesome who she's treated well because she's had two birthdays with a magician and <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get better than that so. exactly yes. you're a good mom exactly <laughs> Well, exactly. for me, it was a little different. I was doing kind of good in Mexico with my project, with my jazz project. Mm -hmm. I, have, I had a trio, uh, original music trio, and I uh, released in Mexico, let me remember, five albums. So wow. I was doing really, really good, uh, but suddenly I felt that... Uh, I was already uh, at my top in Mexico, which is kind of sad but a reality for sure so there's no more room to grow up in mexico right. and you need to start uh, trying to get out of mexico mm -hmm. but it's not easy because sure. you don't have the money as a mexican it's difficult to move all around the world mm -hmm. freely mm -hmm. so it was a really big decision i did it four years ago uh, at five years ago in fact because i started in europe Mm -hmm. So I went, I lived in Berlin for some months and in Italy and I, uh, I, I was trying to, to do something like different, brave. And finally, I, I ended here in, in Calgary because I have a, a sister here Okay, for 20 years now. She has been living here. So it was so easy. Honestly, mm -hmm. the people is great. The, I love the, the cold weather. Really? So, oh, really? Yeah. yeah, I love it. I wow. love it. And, and great musicians and, and a lot of Latin musicians, which was easier for me. So I, I met Gisela and we started playing, in fact, in different projects, in different uh, salsa bands. And, uh, and well, well, now we are together and we are <laughs> making much more music. Much more music. Yeah. Yeah that, yeah, that that was the reason. That's fantastic. It sounded like he was trying to keep it on the down low. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're together. I mean, I don't, yeah. don't want to put labels on it, but we are, you know. <laughs> but, yeah. but, so, but Gisela, since you've been here, you mm -hmm. were a co-owner of your own entertainment company, weren't you? Yes, yes. Uh, well, I came to Calgary um, 13 years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I've always been involved in music because in Mexico, that is what I used to do. I used to sing with uh, bands for uh, all kinds of uh, parties. You know, in Mexico, we party a lot and for everything. And <laughs> yes. for any reason, we throw big parties, Amazing. right? So there's tons of bands. And in, in my hometown in Leon, I used to have my own band and I was dedicated to music 100%. Mm -hmm. um, I did a school too, but, you know, mm -hmm. I was on the side. <laughs> the main <laughs> thing was the music. And then when I moved here, I had the opportunity to meet more musicians and I get involved into, well, into the medium of music, musicians, right? And one thing led to another one. We also saw a big window of opportunity of, uh, of entertainment and bringing a Latin artist to Calgary. Mm -hmm. And we went for it and we did it. Mm -hmm. And we had a company that it was called Joker Entertainment. Mm -hmm. And we did around like 26 productions here in Calgary. We brought probably like the most important Latin artists that have ever, ever been here in, in, in Calgary or even Canada. Wow. We brought um, big names in the Latin industry like Gilberto Santa Rosa or um, Carlos Vives. These are big artists from Puerto Rico, from Colombia. Wow. We also did a few from Mexico as well in the yeah. Mexican traditional gender um, uh, music uh -huh. that is Montes de Durango we did big guys in the reggaeton world right yeah. now like Maluma or Carol G they were not so big when we brought them uh -huh. but they they were here before they exploded into the you know musical universe wow. uh, with fame mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. And yeah, that was very exciting. I had the opportunity to meet a lot of my idols and close work to them was definitely a great experience. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you've, and you were, I think you, you were nominated for a YYC Music Award as well. We were, yeah. Well, that was recent. Uh, on 2019, um, when Esteban and me, we started our relationship, we mm. also had the opportunity to record an album together. 
and yeah. that album was nominated to the YYC Music Awards in the category of World Recording of the Year. Yeah, we didn't win, but <laughs> it was a very well, ex very good experience. It yeah, was exactly, it was very yeah. exciting. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and you know, and so you've 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 played all over the place. You've played, you know, um, Latino Fest and stuff like that in Calgary as well. I've actually worked at Latino Fest. Oh, have you? I've been, I've been here for a year and a half. <laughs> oh, and thank one of you. my first jobs, as soon as I got in the country, was working at Latino Fest. Latino, so we, we, I was um, working with Bison Electrical. So we provided okay. electricity for the whole, for Princess Island. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The whole yeah. island. Yeah. So I, I worked on that, in that show. Yeah, oh, that there festival. You go. It was awesome. <laughs> it was the, the last time that it was live, right? That's right. Because last year was yeah. virtual. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, so it was 2019. Was 19. It was. 19. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, wow. oh it was well, awesome. thank we you. played there. You, you played there. You, I did. you sang there and I performed there like with yes. three bands. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. On, on the main stage, in the big yeah. stage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in the big stage. I was there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Except that we were talking about that on our way here. I was talking to Stella, like, I just realized since the first year that I was here, I've been performing on the Latin festivals. Expo Latino was. Uh, one of the first ones mm -hmm. as well. And yeah, and ever since we've been there. And then we met uh, actually through a, a gig that we mm -hmm. were going to play in one of the Latino festivals. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been doing those from a while now. It's always a very cool experience to be there. Yeah, you know? definitely, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, I've never worked it, but I'm there because there's great food. Oh, <laughs> always. Again, like, again. Mm -hmm. again, food. <laughs> yeah. anywhere, I can, anywhere I can That's why I'm food. chubby. I love <laughs> yeah, food. Again, food. We it's actually been getting in where It's COVID week, COVID week. It so is, yeah, 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 exactly. Well, that's true. Well, that is not our fault. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. It's a virus it's over a, there. Yeah. Got to blame something. Exactly. Exactly. Now, Esteban, mm -hmm. uh, you've won a couple of nightclubs, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, in back in Mexico, um, around 10 years ago, I, I had uh, a bar, a really, really nice bar called La Mecha, mm -hmm. which is the last part of a candle, right. the one you burn. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, well, in, wow. in, in Spanish, it's Mecha. La Mecha. <laughs> I don't know how to say it in English. Last part of the candle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was correct. The thread of this in the middle. And um, it was a live music uh, venue, of course. Mm. And uh, my associates were musicians as well. So the owners, we played every night there. And it was really nice. Of course, it was not like uh, an artistic or, or cultural uh, venue. It was rock, pop, Love and, it. you know, uh, for the people. But it was nice. It was really, really a nice experience. Uh, it, as maybe all my experiences in the past, it, the best part is when they end, you know, because it, it, it gives me like the opportunity to, to go to the next thing. Sure and in fact, happen. I came here right after we sold the company and I came uh, to Calgary nine years ago. And uh, it was like my first uh, time that I was here for a couple of months. In mm -hmm. fact, it was like six months, I think. And uh, I came back to Mexico and I started producing my, my albums. But it was like, I'm going to go to, to Calgary eventually. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it was okay that that ended, right? Mm. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Awesome. It's time to play a game. We are going to do In the Style. In the Style. We're going to give you some, some songs mm -hmm. and some styles. We'll see, you can do your best to... Uh, Recreate those songs in that style. <laughs> Obviously not in the original style of the song. That would be too easy. Obviously. Obviously. Far too easy. <laughs> far too easy. It'd be like a challenge. Yeah. And uh, basic sessions. There's obviously no points here, so you can't win anything, but you've won our affection already, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to... I have a list of songs. I'm going to blindly point to one, and Ben will do the same with uh, a genre, yep. and we'll see what we come up with. <coughs> Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. First song. <laughs> oh. I will survive. I will I'm going to take this off of here now so I don't choose it again. Yeah, but good give idea. Us a, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What is the sound you're giving us? Oh, said, you, know, you didn't point to anyone. Blues. Oh, okay. I back. will survive in a blues. Oh But then I spent so many nights 
Something like that. I'm sorry. Forget the lyrics. I, I have to say, I have the same thing when, like, you hear the original song and then you hear someone do a cover of it in another style. You're like, I can't remember the words because oh it's kind goodness. of like muscle memory in there. How it goes. <laughs> that was awesome. That was though. fantastic. All right. Love it. Okay, Next. Okay. Yeah, get rid of the blues one so you don't choose it again. Okay. Ne <laughs> Next song. That was so good. That was fantastic. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row oh your boat. Is the song. And the style of... <laughs> oh, a bossa. What? <laughs> row, 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 bossa. Okay. <laughs> Let's get down. How, what was that? <laughs> Merrily, merrily. <laughs> That's it's not my first not language. Sorry. <laughs> Dash, <laughs> though, was falling asleep. It was <laughs> working. It was still a lullaby because Dash was nodding off. Dash was falling like, asleep. This Aren't is you beautiful. Dash? This is gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> All right. Next song. Here we go. Oh. What's that? Billy Jean. Billy Jean. Mm. What's that? Billy Jean. It's a power, power ballad. <laughs> Belly okay. Jean Power <laughs> Ballad. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let me Good get luck. the lyrics because this one I'm going to forget. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> there you go. Like a beauty queen from a movie scene I sit on mine, but what do you mean? I am the one who will dance on the floor and around She said, I am the one who will dance on the floor and around told me her name was Billie Jean as she goes to see that every head turned with eyes a dream of being the one who will dance on the floor and around the people always saw there were points to hand out you'd get them every time yeah these are so get, good get all the points all, all right. the points right i okay. think we have i think we have time for one more okay let's, let's get one more last one we have i have two songs left so it's gonna be one of these uh oh uh, right in the middle which one do you think i'm uh, closer to fly me to the moon I want twinkle. Okay. you want I, twinkle 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 all right well twinkle, then twinkle. To hell with this. <laughs> twinkle twinkle it is <laughs> i think it goes here <laughs> Wapanga. What? <laughs> That's a tough one. Wapango. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I.
Okay, let, let's hear let's hear "Fly Me to the Moon" in the salsa style okay. uh, because Ooh, it's the, it's one of them left. We just have to. We just have to. <laughs> okay. I can't wait for this one. Yeah, this will be great. <laughs> Fantastic. You definitely won whatever it is you win on, on these game shows that we play. But uh, before we go, where can people find you online? Where How can we get in touch? Thank you. Well, for me, for Gisela, um, you guys can go to my webpage and the address is www.giselaromeroartist.com. And you can also look me up on Facebook as Gisela Romero Music and on Instagram as Gisela Romero Official. Awesome. Nice. And for Esteban, <laughs> oh, sorry, he doesn't have oh, a mic. Oh, my God, come on. <laughs> and for Esteban, also his website is www.estebanherreramusic.com. Mm -hmm. And on Facebook as Herrera, Esteban Herrera Artist. And on Instagram as well, Esteban Herrera Artist. Not official. Um, no, on yet. Instagram. Just Giselle is official. Ah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can just pick the name. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are oh. certified artists on Spotify and all the digital platforms. You can find our music there. Okay. Like uh, Spotify, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, Tidal, ba what's it, Apple, Band iTunes. Uh, Bandcamp. Are we on Bandcamp? No, we're no. No, no, no. Just the free stream ones. Right. Oh, well, under subscription, you know, mm -hmm. those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you can look us up there. For Esteban, you can find you can find him as Esteban Herrera and Esteban Herrera Trio. He has seven albums on the platforms that you can seven enjoy. Seven albums. Seven albums. And he's working. Well, like, can I say it? <laughs> <laughs> can I say it? <laughs> well, he's preparing four more albums. Wow. Well, he's been working like crazy. And they're amazing. <laughs> and well, that's for Esteban. All his albums on Spotify and all the digital platforms. And for myself, for Gisela, I just have one. <laughs> but it's on Spotify and it's really cute. I really encourage you to listen to it. It's soft, jazz, Latino. You're going to love it. For sure. Amazing. Awesome. Well, we better catch up on Esteban's before there's four more to, to listen to. <laughs> I know, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely check that out. Thanks so much for being here. I, can't, I mean, Thank we've already you. heard some tunes, but yeah. I can't wait to hear your tunes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, guys. It's so much fun. Thank, Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. <laughs>